In this video, I'm going to cover problem 4 of tutorial 6 and the first three problems have been covered briefly in the other videos so you might want to check those out. And in this problem, we are given a system in a form of a block diagram as well. And we have three blocks stacked together side by side. First of all is K. And then we have a system S squared over S plus 2 squared. And finally, we have another system S squared plus 3S plus 2 divided by S to the power of 4 plus 5S cubed plus 6S squared. And then the system is again nested with a unity feedback. So this is the output and then the input. And in the first part of the question, it's basically asking what is the forward loop transfer function? the system type and also the static position error constant of the system and then at the second part it's asking what is the DC gain for the open loop and closed loop system and lastly it is also asking what is the steady state error for a unit RAM, um, I'm sorry, a unit step input. Now let us solve for the first part. In the first part, um, the world transfer function is pretty straightforward. It's basically just multiplication of all the three blocks together, and that forms the for loop transfer function, which is k multiplied by s squared over s plus 2 squared and then we have s squared plus 3 s plus 2 and let me factor out the s squared term over here so I have s squared plus 5 s plus 6 and then simplifying this transfer function I can cross the 2 s squared term at the top so what I will get is the forward loop transfer function equals 2 k multiplied by s squared plus 3 s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 squared multiplied by s squared plus 5 s plus 6. So this is our forward loop transfer function. And as we can see from the forward loop transfer function, there is no integrator at all. So the system type will be 0 because there is no integrator at all. And finally, the kp. And kp, which is the static position error constant, is given by limit of g as s tends to 0. And g over here is basically the forward loop transfer function and we can sub in limit of s and then the forward loop transfer function is basically this term k multiplied by s squared plus 3s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 squared multiplied by s squared plus 5 s plus 6 and substituting s equals to 0 we get 2k over 4 multiplied by 6 so this is basically k over 12 so the kp for the system is k over 12 and moving on to the next part what is the open loop and the closed loop DC gain?
So the formula for DC gain is given by limit of G as S tends to zero. And for the case of open loop DC gain, G of S is basically the Fourier loop transfer function. And for the case of the closed loop system, the G of S corresponds to the closed loop transfer function. So let us first find the open loop DC gain, which is limit of GS, the Fourier loop transfer function that we have found earlier over here. And we know that this is basically similar to the static position error constant. And solving the limit will give us k over 12. And then for the closed loop DC gain, we first have to find a closed loop transfer function, which is Cs over Rs. And this is the open loop transfer function over 1 plus Gs. And simplifying, substituting the open loop transfer function into this equation and simplifying, we will get the closed loop transfer function equals to k multiplied by s squared plus 3s plus 2 divided by k multiplied by s squared plus 3s plus 2 plus s plus 2 squared multiplied by s squared plus 5s plus 6. So this is a very gigantic term for a closed loop transfer function and the corresponding closed loop DC gain will be limit of s, um, limit of this whole term as s tends to zero. So it's basically just rewriting everything over here and I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna write Cs over Rs and sub s tends to zero and we will get k over k plus 12. So here we have the open loop DC gain and here again we have the closed loop DC gain. So now we're left with the last part. What is the steady state error of the function or of the system if we give a unit step input? So the error can always be written as the input minus the output. And we can again divide both the right hand side and the left hand side with the input R of S so we can rewrite the error transfer function as 1 minus c of s over r of s. And this part, or the closed loop transfer function, we have found it in a previous step, which is equals to k multiplied by s squared plus 3s plus 2 divided by k multiplied by s squared plus 3s plus 2 plus s plus 2 squared multiplied by s squared plus 5s plus 6. And the error transfer function is basically s plus 2 squared multiplied by s squared plus 5s plus 6 over k s squared plus 3s plus 2 plus s plus 2 squared multiplied by s squared plus 5s plus 6. Sorry, this is 5s plus 6. And then we can find the steady state error by the final value theorem. So we take the limit of s multiplied by e as s tends to zero. And this is equals to s multiplied by 
this gigantic term over here, I'll just rewrite everything again here. I'm sorry. So I bring over R of S into the right hand side and R of S is a unit step input given by the question statement in the question. So solving this limit, I will get 12 over 12 plus K. So the steady state error that arises from a unit step input is equals to 12 over 12 plus k. And as I said earlier, just like um, problem 1 and problem 3, this is the traditional method of solving the steady state error. Um, we can also use the express method, which is based on the system type table. We have a type 0 system because back to the for loop transfer function, what we have is something like that, and we have a type 0 system. We have already found it in the first part. And then for a type 0 system given a unit step input, the steady state error equals to 1 over 1 plus kp. So this is given by the table. And we already found kp from the first part, which is equals to k over 12. So the steady state error is 12 over 12 plus k. So that's problem 4 of tutorial 6.